हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द सॉल्यूशन ऑफ द केमिस्ट्री पार्ट ऑफ जेई एडवांस पेपर पेपर नंबर टू विच वाज हेल्ड ऑन ट्वेंटी सेवेंथ ऑफ मे टू थाउजेंड लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द क्वेश्चन नंबर वन नाउ इन दिस क्वेश्चन इज आस्किंग द ग्राउंड स्टेट एनर्जी ऑफ द हाइड्रोजन एटम इज माइनस इट इज गिवन टू अस कंसिडर एन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक स्टेट ऑफ जाई ऑफ एच प्लस हुज एनर्जी एजिमुथल क्वांटम नंबर एंड द मैग्नेटिक क्वांटम नंबर आर माइनस थ्री पॉइंट फोर इलेक्ट्रॉन वोल्ट टू एंड जीरो दीज वैल्यूज आर गिवन टू अस रिस्पेक्टिवली विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट इज और आर ट्रू फॉर द स्टेट जाई सो थ्री थिंग्स आर गिवन टू अस फर्स्ट इज द एनर्जी सेकेंड इज द एजिमुथल क्वांटम नंबर थर्ड इज द मैग्नेटिक क्वांटम नंबर एंड द ऑप्शन आर इट इज फोर डी स्टेट बी The nuclear charge experienced by the electron in this state is less than 2e, whereas e is the magnitude of the electronic charge. C is it has two angular nodes, and D is it has three radial nodes. Let's move on to the solution. So let's start solving it. so the solution is now we all know that the formula of the energy according to bohr theory is minus 13.6 z square upon n square and that is equal to it's given to us the magnitude is this minus 3.4 electron volts so we just have to put this minus 3.4 electron volt and when we will solve it for he plus so we have to write minus 13.6 multiplied by z in the case of he plus will be 2 square and upon n square we have to find out the value of n from here and it will be equal to minus 3.4 right so if we find out the value of n from here then n is equal to 4 right now it's given that the azimuthal quantum number l is equal to in the question it is given that the azimuthal quantum number is equal to 2 so it is equal to 2 and the magnetic quantum number is equal to 0 now the principal quantum number n is equal to 4 and the azimuthal quantum number is equal to 2 it means that we are talking about 4d subshell or you can say that if m is equal to 0 we are talking about orbital of 4d subshell right now we have to find out the number of angular nodes so angular nodes there is a direct formula is equal to l so the value of l is equal to 2 right if we find out the radial nodes the number of radial nodes that is equal to n minus l minus 1 and that is equal to the value of n is equal to 4 and l is equal to 2 minus 1 and it is equal to 1 it means that the total number of radial nodes is equal to 1 so our correct answer is it is the 4d state option b the nuclear charge experienced by the electron in this state is less than 2e where e is the magnitude of the electronic charge now what do you want to say that suppose we have helium and helium plus now what will happen in the case of helium there are two electrons and the nucleus will attract those two electrons but there will be screening effect but in the case of he plus there is no screening effect because there is only a single electron 
it means that this option is wrong if you talk about the option c it has two angular nodes that is absolutely correct d is it has three radial nodes this is incorrect so our answer is option number a and c right let's move on to the next question in this question is asking consider the following reactions which are unbalanced zinc plus hot and concentrated H2SO4 is giving us the products G plus R plus X zinc on reaction with concentrated NaOH gives T plus Q and G which was produced in the first reaction that on reaction with H2S and NH4OH gives Z which is a precipitate plus X and Y four options are given to us and we have to choose the correct option so let's write the equation so let's move on to the solution so the solution is now in the first reaction it is zinc which is reacting with the concentrated h2so4 so h2so4 it will give you znso4 plus so2 plus h2 O, right now he is saying that it is G plus R plus X so if it is G plus R plus X then it will be G R SO2 and water is X right the next reaction is reaction of zinc with NaOH so zinc plus NaOH we all know that it will give us sodium zincate and the formula of the sodium zincate is Na2 ZnO2 plus hydrogen gas will liberate and he is saying that this is T and it is Q the next reaction in the next reaction he is saying that G which is produced in the first reaction that is ZnSO4 so we have to take ZnSO4 and that is reacting with H2S plus the solution of NH4OH and it is giving us ZNS plus ammonium sulphate which is NH4 whole twice SO4 plus H2O and he is saying that they are Z, X and Y. So, this will be Z. Obviously, it is precipitate. So, this is Y and water is X. So, water is X and X is formed there also in that reaction and here also water is X. So, let us move on to the options. Options are, option A is Z is dirty white in color. So, Z is zinc sulphide. It is zinc sulphide and zinc sulphide is dirty white in color. It means that option A is absolutely correct. Bond order of Q is 1 in the ground state. Q is hydrogen. Q is hydrogen and we all know that the bond order is 1. It means that the option B is also correct. R is V shaped molecule. R is SO2 and we all know that SO2 is bent in shape therefore it is also correct if you talk about the option D the oxidation state of zinc in T is plus 1 so what is T? T is sodium zincate and in sodium zincate the oxidation state of zinc is plus 2 that's why this is incorrect so the correct answer is A is also correct B is correct and C is correct right let us move on to the next question now in this question is asking the cyanide process of the gold extraction involves the leaching out of the gold from its ore with Cn minus in the presence of Q in water to form R subsequently R is treated with T to obtain gold and Z choose the correct options now four options are given and without solving or without writing the reaction we cannot solve this question so first we have to write 
the reactions. So, the solution now in MacArthur forest cyanide process, gold on reaction with Cn minus in the presence of oxygen gives us a complex and that complex is Au Cn whole twice minus plus OH minus right now if we take this ion Au Cn whole twice minus plus zinc now zinc is more reactive than gold that's why zinc will come in and gold will go out so we will get a complex of zinc with cyanide and that complex is Zn Cn whole 4 2 minus plus we will get gold now let's talk about QRT so oxygen here is Q and this complex which is formed this is R and zinc is T right so options are Q is oxygen absolutely correct R is AUCN whole 4 minus no it is cyanide whole twice so this is wrong A is correct Z is the complex of zinc with cyanide ion and there are four cyanide ion present so therefore Z this is Z and this is also correct and he is saying T is zinc and T is zinc therefore we have three options correct A, C and D are correct B is wrong so the answer is A, C and D right let's move on to the next question 